Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys. But every time I crash, my tire size increases. Now, let me explain to you guys how this challenge is going to work. So, we're out here on the Tennessee map from the latest DLC. We have yeah Buddy's Ram 3500, which is a mod. And what we are going to be doing is we're going to be starting on the standard tire size. The tire size that the truck comes with as a baseline, basically. Now, this truck has the maximum power engine setup, and the racetrack right over there is where the challenge is going to be taking place. Now, you might be saying, well, if you're, like, if you're just driving around the track, you can just hit the brakes, and then you won't crash. Well, here's a little bit of where the challenge itself comes into play. I am not allowed to hit the brakes at all. I have to, the, from the second I plant the throttle, I have to leave the throttle plant. Well, I don't have to necessarily leave the throttle planted, but I have to leave it planted as much as possible, and I can only do a very slight lift, and then I have to get back onto it. I cannot use the brakes no matter what, and the second I crash, I have to go back to the garage and go one tire size up in this same wheel and tire setup. So... Without any further ado, let's see what happens in three, two, one, full send. Come on. Oh, this is going to be very, very interesting. I'm already a bit concerned because I know that I'm going to have to like, oh, oh God, I did a lift and then I got right back on the throttle. I haven't touched the brakes. Okay, this is going to be bad. I can already tell you this is going to be a lot worse than I expected it would be. Oh God. Okay. I'm, I'm already a little bit freaked out because most of these sections of the track, I think, can be done at full throttle. Turn! Oh my god, turn! That was, a, that was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Now, again, the track is really, really wide, which is going to work to our advantage. Ow! Well, I think that constitutes a crash. I mean, it's not the most dramatic crash, but I think it constitutes a crash. All right, so back to the garage, and we're on 39s right now. The next size up is 42s, and we're going to be on the generic off-road tire duels again. Now, as the tire size goes up, in theory, you would think that we would be able to roll even faster. So, keeping that in mind, let's head back out onto the track again and go for a rip. Oh boy, this already feels faster because the <laughs> this already feels faster because since the tires are taller, they're able to consistently roll at a higher speed. Turn you ow. Well, that was a bit of a mistake on my part, I think. Uh, let's go back and get another tire. <laughs> Well, we're back out of the garage again, now on a set of 45s, and from here on out is where the tires start to get really, really big, kind of bordering on cartoonishly big, especially considering the suspension we're on. So I'm gonna save my little lift of the throttle. I think for this, it's almost like a little miniature, like it's like a chicane right here. My little lift, turn, and then back on the, really? You know, I really expected I would get to be on the 45s for a little longer, but in, in keeping with the challenge, I suppose that's not what's gonna happen, huh? Man, okay. Well, I didn't think we were gonna have to do this so soon, but now it's time to go up from the 45s to the 47s. And now we're really starting to get into cartoonishly big territory. Yeah, this is not what I expected to have happen. I expected to be able to go through that section with a little lift of the throttle, and that would be it. But, like, I didn't think we're going to be able to go through it that easily. And I think... How fast is this thing in high? Okay, I think what I'm going to do is to get rid of the confusion of, like, the automatic transmission mode. I'm going to leave it in high so that when I lift, it's actually a lift and not a... Oh, turn, 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 turn. Don't you dare flip! No! Uh! Well, that went well. Back to the garage so soon! <laughs> I didn't expect it to go... This, we're almost on the biggest tires! Alright, 47s, and now up to a 49. 
Which is not, I believe, the biggest thing that you can do, but it's getting up there. It's getting bad. It's getting up there. All right, come on. Come on. Oh, boy. All right, back into high range again. We're going to have to be so good. Do not crash coming out of the garage. Bro, I swear if I crash coming out of the garage, that <laughs> is not going to be... Is that? Does that even count? I don't think it does. I mean, unless we're on the track surface. I didn't define the rules that specifically. All right, easy. Small lift. Small lift. There we go. Come on. Come on. I'm going to have to start being a lot more careful here. Like, the straight sections, you're fine. You never have anything to worry about. And then when you get into... Oh, boy. Oh, no. Don't do it. See, it'll slide really nicely up to a point. And then once it gets to that point, it's going to fling you into oblivion. And you're going to be doing cartwheels. I almost slid into the wall. Big lift right here. And then the taps of the throttle. Ooh, work the steering. Okay, you're all right. You're all right. You're all right. Be careful on the jump. Be careful on the jump. Be careful on the jump. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't hit that any faster. Because if I did, I would have oofed myself. Am I going to do a lap? I am going to be able to do a lap. Holy smokes. Do not roll it on the final turn. Please don't. Let's go. Power it onto the front straight. Roll it into the throttle. All right. Not bad. Sticking with it now. Okay, moving into my next lap. This is like the most successful run I've had so far with these 49s. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Easy. Corner to corner. Groove to corner. Oh, my God. That was that was so close. <laughs> Go, 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 go. No. Okay. Woo. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. No. Turn, 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 turn. Well. Hey, it was a lap and a quarter. I mean, a lap and a quarter ain't the worst run ever. Okay. Back to the garage. And now we have to go up to a, I believe, a 51. And the 51s are the largest tires you can get on this truck. And that means this is, well, we're full, like, cartoon mode now, basically. And I have no idea how this is going to go. I assume it's going to be pretty redonkulous. But this is, I mean, we can't go up any more sizes than this. This is as big as it goes. And if you were doing a challenge like this in Beam, like Beam and G Drive, you could dial up the tire sizes, like, essentially to infinity if you really wanted to. You could basically mod the tires into infinity. But we can't necessarily do that here, at least not as easily. So, uh, off we go onto the track. And I think we're going to do a celebratory train horn as we pull out of the pit lane. In three, two, one, full send. Come on! Oh, God. Oh, it's... Bro, it's near uncontrollable on the 51s in high. I'm gonna have to give myself a little bit of lee a little bit more leeway on how long I can lift off the throttle. Still not allowing myself to use the brakes, but I'm gonna easy. I feel like I stop it, stop it. I almost touched the brakes there. I need to not do that. I need to make sure I don't touch the brakes. Jeez, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Dude, not bad, not bad. Easy. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, really? It was going to be so good. It was going to be so simple. It was going to be so simple, and it was going to be fine. But no, we ended up like this. Ram? More like, I don't know, not even legible logo anymore. <laughs> Sheesh. The whole side of the truck has been Swiss cheesed. I mean, as per usual. But still, like, I wish I could make the tire size bigger. I wish I could take this into, like, you know, essentially, like, cartoon infinity. But, like, that's not really possible within, like, you know, what you could do with SnowRunner as a game. But if you guys enjoyed this strange, silly challenge, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you all later. I hope you guys enjoyed. Before we finish this challenge, though, I think that now that we're on the biggest tires, it would be a bit of a mistake to end this without attempting to jump the entire truck over the wall. Come on! Will it work? Probably not. Oh, God! Well, that went well. I was really hoping we could launch it over that wall. I was really, truly hoping 
that we could launch something that I'm gonna try again. I'm, gonna, I'm legitimately gonna try again. I've never actually launched something directly over that wall, and I genuinely believe that this truck has the ability to do it. Put it in high, make my way out of the garage. Come on, easy. Do not flip it or, oh God, oh. Again, that went well, but not as well as I was hoping it would go. Come on, let's go. Will you, will you fire up, please? Thank you. All right, let's back it up and send it. Come on, come on, come on. Train horn for maximum yeetage. All right, I'm gonna aim a little bit closer to this side this time. Full send, oh, there it is. Well, it seems to be a bit on the fence, I think, about whether or not it actually wants to jump over the fence. But either way, I think that that would be a lot easier. I genuinely figured it would go up and over, but I guess not.